Hey y'all. I'm just making documentaries to my sweetie out in the States. Giving her a little hint of what the place looks like before she moves out here. And we get married. <laughs> and I love you very much, hon. Huh? Gotta be quiet though because I'm trying to get a deer. It's not here yet, but every night, every day, at sunset, it comes out over there. But right now, I'm going to show you, honey, what I'm working on. This over here, these are the trees I planted years ago, a few years ago. This one, ten years ago. A little, nice little spot here for a swimming pool for our kids. Right there. And when they get big enough, these trees, who needs a fence? <laughs> Anyways, I transplanted two more right here. Those other ones didn't take, so I transplanted two two of them right here. Take about five years before the roots take. And over here, well, actually, this is what it looks like all the way around. Nice and groomed. Did a lot of work and planting in here and right here. I forget what kind of plant they are. They grow every year. Nice pink flowers. Uh, and over here I'm working on this right now, the next one. Right over here. I already got the trees planted. Those are the ones I planted. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there along the a row. I just have to finish off over there. Right around there. And right around to the edge. Right over there. And I'm not going to burn. Because uh, it's too dry. And plus the wind can come out of nowhere. And I'm just going to wait. And when that's all clear, then I can burn it when there's no wind at all. Slow burn. Then I can go in there and get all that stuff out of there. I used to be planting potatoes in here, but ever since Dad got sick, I laid back for a few years. And this is the same thing when I'm going to do with the other yard there. And transform this into something. Too hard to keep a garden going in there. It's too much clay, but yep. Yeah. Right now, I'm just waiting for that deer to come out. Hopefully, it'll come out tonight. Sunset might come out over there or over there, or he might have went sidetracked. Went over across the road there to our neighbors over there, Randy. Don't ask about Randy, he's a, he's a jerk. I'm not going to swear because why do that, right? Anyways, that's my happy field. A friend of ours comes over here every year and he uh, plows it, not plows it. Grooms it, takes it for hay. What he wants to do now, he wants to plow it. But down there is so wet over there. Hopefully, after the MNR did their thing to the ditch, dig it up deeper, it might get drier. You never know. If it gets drier, then he can plow it better. But hopefully, this year that, that field's going to be all black. Hopefully, he wants to put alfalfa in there or oats. One of the two. Uh, I love it here. I love it here. It's way better than the city, I can tell you. Hardly any traffic. Hardly any cops. They don't do too much. Drive around. 
have a donut or two. Yeah. Pretty well, this is where I live. I'm happy. I'll be more happier when my sweetie gets here. And this is what I live for. Took me a lot of years, me and my family, to get this. My mom, my dad, rest his soul. And a little bit of traffic. <sighs> and my brother, we worked very hard to get this. Not bad for being on disability. But, you know, we don't sell drugs, we don't do anything like that. We just keep a roof on our head. And that's a brand new roof right there. That's what happens when you have good credit. And you gotta pay that back though. But anyways, I love it here. Hopefully when my sweetie gets here, she'll love it too. I haven't been feeling good for a few days. My sweetie understands that. <sighs> but anyways, I'm going to stop right now. And I'm just going to wait here till the deer comes out. And I guarantee you, no hunter can go in this property here. When the deer are in here, they know they're safe. Because we do have deer in here all the way up there. Because I went up there a few times and I hear them. And I see them. And I'm only about 10, 15 feet away from them. But this year, after I got this laptop, I'm not going to speak and bark it. I'm going to show it to you. This summer, I'm going to go up there, drive around, have this ring thing ready. And you guys are going to see what kind of wildlife I see every year. Anyways, this is what I live for. And I love it. We used to have cattle here, but ever since years ago with the cow crisis, prices dropped and we didn't bother no more. But anyways, this is my property, and I love it. Trespassers be warned if you've been caught on my property. There's two things that might happen to you. A black eye, or jail.